Hello, welcome back to another video. In the last video, we had found formulas for um, the nth term of sequences. In this video, we're going to be looking at kind of a new type of sequence, which is called the sequence of partial sums. Okay, so um, we're going to be looking at sequence. sequence of partial sums, okay? And that's um, essentially how you do this is you're given a sequence, just any sequence that you like. So let's say that I have, I'll just do this in generality first, but let's say we've got this sequence a sub 1, a sub 2, a sub 3, right? These are just, they can represent any numbers you want. You've got a list of numbers, your, your sequence of numbers here, okay? So what the sequence of partial sums is, is it's a new sequence and you just are adding up how many terms uh, it tells you. So S sub 1, this is the sequence of partial sums. S sub 1, you just take one term of the a sub n and add it to itself. Okay, so in this one you just have a sub 1. For s sub 2, you're going to take the first two terms of this sequence and add them together. Okay, so that's the second sequence, second term of the sequence of partial sums. Okay. And the third is you're just adding up three terms. And I bet you can guess what the fourth one is. You add up the first four terms of the sequence that you started with. Okay. So for any sequence that you have, you can make the sequence of partial sums just doing this. And this is normally the notation they use is S for the sequence of partial sums. Okay, so let's look at an example. Let's say we've got our, our sequence here. It's um, our first term is a half, then it's a fourth, then it's an eighth, okay, and so on. Okay, let's, um, on the homework, you're going to find the first six terms in the sequence of partial sums. On this one, I'm just going to do the first four terms because uh, this one has fractions, so it gets a little bit nastier than the ones you're doing. Uh, but let's find first four terms in the sequence of partial sums. Okay, so that's what we're doing. This is our sequence. So this, this is like our a sub 1, this is our a sub 2, this is our a sub 3, and then it keeps going from there. Now notice what is the pattern that's happening here? with these terms, well, it starts at a half, then it goes to a fourth, then one eighth. Notice one is always on the top of the fraction, and to get between the bottoms, we're just timesing by two every time, right? So my next term the next term in this sequence, well, I'd still have a 1 on top, but I'd times by 2 again, and I would get 16 on the bottom, okay? That would be my next term in this sequence, okay? Um, so let's go ahead and figure out the sequence of partial sums. Well, so S1, that would be just the first term of this sequence, so one half. 
S2 would be the sum of the first two terms. So 1 half plus 1 fourth. Or in other words, this would be 2 fourths, so 3 fourths. And we add those two together. Okay. S3, would we add the first three terms together? So we do 1 half plus 1 fourth plus the third term is 1 eighth. So we add those together. And here we're going to get something. Uh, what is it going to be? This is how many eighths? It would be 4 eighths plus 2 eighths. So 6 eighths plus 1 eighth is 7 eighths. Okay. Your fourth term in your sequence of partial sums, you just take the first four terms and add them together. Now notice we didn't have this one to begin with, but if you need to find more terms in the sequence, you're going to have to figure out what's the pattern here so that you can figure out any more terms that you need. Okay, and I'm not going to uh, do this all out because it's a little messy just fraction-wise. It turns out to be 15 sixteenths. Okay, for the f fifth term in the sequence of partial sums, you do the same thing. You just take this and add uh, 1 over 32 would be the next term in this. So you would add 1 over 32 to get your next term in the sequence of partial sums, okay? And so this, this idea actually becomes really important in calculus. Um, many of you are never going to have to take it, but some of you may, and so we're trying to help prepare you. Um, what they do in calculus is they focus on kind of an idea of can you add infinitely many numbers together and have it equal another number. And this is kind of a way that you approach that because you're adding increasingly large amount of numbers to each other. And then if that sequence, if this sequence gets really close to something in calculus, we say that it converges. Um, Anyway, so if you ever have to take calculus, this will show up again. But for us, we really just care about introducing you to this idea of with a sequence, uh, what happens when you're kind of just adding up so many terms of, of this sequence. We're only ever going to be dealing with finite uh, sums of, of the terms of a sequence. Okay, so hopefully that helps. Um, I will see you in the next video.